What is up, creatures? Today, I have a piece of wonderful advice for y'all that was given to me a while back, and it has stuck with me for a while. And it has to do with communicating your feelings. And oh my goodness, isn't it hard communicating our feelings? I suck at it sometimes because it is not something easy to do. And I'm sure about 99% of y'all can agree with me on that. Unless you're just someone who can be honest 100% of the time, then you're great. You keep being you. But let's get into it. So when it comes to relationships, a lot of the times we start to go down a dark hole because we don't communicate emotions properly. And here is one thing to combat that. Once a month, maybe once every two weeks, I want y'all to sit down with either your significant other, maybe it's your mom, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend, whoever it may be, sit down with this person and talk to them. Talk to them about how you feel. Tell that person what you want from them, what you want them to do better. And then the other person should tell you what they think you should do better or how they think you can improve. And I'm not saying sit down and try to change someone, but maybe someone is a little too arrogant to some things or they're ignorant to the way they act towards you and you're going to continue to be sad about things unless you talk to the person about it. And this advice works best in romantic relationships. I haven't done it yet because God forbid I have a successful relationship, but down the line I will. And when I do, I will use this advice. See, I want y'all to go into this conversation preemptively knowing the conversation will happen. Talk to your girlfriend or boyfriend and be like, listen, next week, next Sunday, can we sit down, go get something to eat, and just talk about things we could do better for each other? That way, going into the conversation, you can have the respect you need. See, if you off-rip tell someone they're doing something bad to you, there's a likelihood that they're going to get a little upset. So having that pre-established, we're going to have this conversation talk, will make the conversation so much more fluent. And be receptive to criticism. Because we don't always do things the best way. We're not always in the right. And neither are we always in the wrong. So having that successful communication with with your significant other is great. And I promise you, it will improve your relationship. And not only does it add longevity to your relationship, it adds just practice of successful communication. And if y'all don't want to do this, that's totally fine. But I guarantee you, if you do, as hard as it may be, your relationship will improve. And I mean, let's be honest, it's, it, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help. It's going to help. So do it. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's have successful relationships. Let's do this shit. Let's be happy. Let's communicate how we feel efficiently. And stop hiding things. Stop hiding the way you feel because, you know, there's certain energies that can give off. And sometimes we already know that you're feeling a certain way. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, well, that's great. Not everything has to make sense. I love you guys. And um, let's practice successful communication. I think this week I'm going to get a couple videos out about communication. I want to do one about compromise. I want to do one about just communicating successfully in a general general way. Who knows what I'll do. Hope AO is a sporadic type of person. I just do things in the spur of the moment. But hey, that's what life's all about. Anyways, guys, I love y'all. I hope y'all are having just a beautiful day. And y'all put a smile on y'all's face because I guarantee you, you have a beautiful smile. Love y'all. Y'all take it easy.